Hey guys, Jerick here and welcome to my Half-Life 2 Episode 2 playthrough. I mentioned last episode of this playthrough that I was having some audio issues. The dialogue was kind of echoing through my headset. Somehow the sound of the other people's voices in the games was coming through the headset on my mic, even though I have sound coming through my headset, not my speakers. So I changed some settings in my sound card and I think I have that fixed. But let's go ahead and go where I left off. Uh, funny note, I actually played about a quarter of this chapter and then my computer decided, hey, I'm going to blue screen to death and that recording you got, yeah, it's going to get corrupted on its own. I'm still trying to figure out what the issues are with my computer. I've limited it down to, I think, three things. Driver issues are not the problem. Uh, no third party driver issues are causing anything. So it could be either a bad stick of RAM, possibly my motherboard or my CPU. Not sure which. And I'll have to figure it out. But all I know is that it's really fucking irritating. So hopefully I can play through this whole chapter without something going wrong. On top of that, uh, I was also uploading a video to YouTube while I was playing, and then when it, you know, blue screened, it canceled the upload, which is really obnoxious. The other more annoying thing about canceling that upload is that uh, canceling the upload also means I have to start uploading it in another browser, because if I start uploading it again in Google Chrome, it won't upload. Uh, it'll say it's uploading, but then it will never actually get processed, and you won't see it in your video manager, so that's annoying YouTube issues. Also, more annoying things about starting a chapter with new game instead of loading your last save point. I have no ammo now! <laughs> so, I had 9 grenades and 250 shots, and I have no shotgun ammo or SMG ammo anymore. That's really obnoxious. So I'll just carry my crowbar around. That is a lot of bloom. I understand I've been in a mine, but Jesus, that's ridiculous. Oh my god. The Combine's on the move. And they carry Shu Ulathoi. Advisors still in incubation files. They gather and unite the scattered combine forces. So that's what we saw in the Citadel. They're sure in a hurry. They move north with great purpose. North? White Forest! We have to get there ahead of them! I know of humans with a vehicle not far from here. They will understand our urgent need. What are we waiting for? Oh, cool. I didn't know he did that. Oh, sh thanks. It gave me a lot. I'm spinning around because I'm testing my audio. Because usually after my computer blue screens, uh, the sound card starts messing up, which is why I'm saying it could be bad RAM or possibly my motherboard because anything dealing with PCI Express usually kind of starts tweaking out if your computer fails or something is failing. And I'm using an actual nice sound card. Also, I heard someone complaining about the excessive use of ferns in this mod, but this is how it actually looks. Like, Valve is in Seattle, and I'm about 170 miles north, or 170 miles south of Seattle in Portland, Oregon. And ferns really are fucking everywhere. Uh, I live in a subtropical temperate rainforest, and this is pretty much what it looks like. It's really obvious the inspiration for the visual look of episode 2. It's really obvious that they just kind of looked out their window and went, eh, there we go. And I'm not complaining. I really enjoy living in the Northwest, to say the least. Yeah, get away from me. I'm looking for all of the ammo. 54 bullets out of that giant thing. Thanks. Whoa, lag. That is not ammo, that is health. I don't want health, I have full health. Hey, shotgun ammo. And more SMG grenades, that's what I like to see. Hi. At this time, 
Y... Get away from me. Sprinting while reloading. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Nice work, Gordon. Sorry I couldn't be more help. I'm still a little weak. Well done, Freeman. Freeman, you dispatched those guards with great dispatch. Come now. The vehicle we seek is in the encampment above. Jesus, this bloom. I think at this point my eyes would be adjusted to the sky. Carry us to where the vehicle awaits. I don't even know where it was, but I killed it. <laughs> Ow! What? <laughs> That's not how that's supposed to work. I think I'm breaking the physics harder than I'm supposed to be able to. Yep, I definitely am. <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. Alright, I'm going to quick save just in case something really goes wrong. Thanks, Gordon. Puzzling. The sentry should have spotted us what? by now. You think the Combine found them? Such a theory is hardly far-fetched. I'm surprised they didn't kill me. Leader. In before loading. This is bound to be loading around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I heard glass breaking. Oh, and here you go. You get to see the new skin I added instead of the uh, the HK33. Oh God. The combine found them all right. But came to no good end themselves. Head crabs have had their way with the bulk parties. Hey, look! Out on that bridge. I think I see the car you were talking about. It appears they attempted an escape, but made it no farther than the abyss. Well, if they got it over there, maybe we can jump it back to this side. We recommend the Freeman for this task. Hey, I'm feeling a lot better. That condition will not last long if you plunge into the toxins below. We would do well to lend our protection from above. While Freeman skirts the hazards in the pit. This mounted gun may prove useful.
The gun would appear to be powerless. Go, Freeman. I will look after the Alex Vance. Well, Gordon, I guess it's all up to you. Here, I'll get this field down. So yeah, I added a uh, NF2000 in case, or in case, in pl replacement of the HK33 because luck, I prefer the F2000 over basically a 223 MP5. I already have an MP5, I don't need another one. See, MP5, and then F2000. Now it's not supposed to be made with the, uh, the cinematic mod, so instead of aiming down the sights, you just kind of zoom a little bit, but I can deal with that. All the smoke and everything, like in the distance, looks really good. I hear zombies. Oh, that's right. Yeah. More up two thousand ammo. There is a mad zombie around here. Oh. Ow. God damn, bullet damage has been increased dramatically. The thing I'm not a big fan of when it comes to this mod, uh, bullet damage has been increased dramatically. So fighting zombies becomes easier if you put it on normal. But normal, or if you put it on easy, fighting zombies has become way too easy. But fighting the combine is about a mixture between normal and hard mode for regular Half-Life 2. But if you put it on normal, it's like more difficult than the hard mode in regular Half-Life 2 when the combine are shooting at you because bullet damage is increased so dramatically. So you can't seem to find that good balance of difficulty. Oh, whatever, I guess that's fine. Fighting zombies is kind of obnoxious anyway. Especially these fuckers. Stop trying to take my ammo box. Ooh, I got a grenade. Oh, what the fuck? I totally jumped. <laughs> there we go. God, these grenades are so strong. Just 
the biggest trap. And they all dead. Holy shit, so much shotgun ammo, that's entirely worth it. Use a grenade, get 20 shotgun shells. Holy shit. <laughs> that actually startled me. I saw the boxes fly out, but I thought it was just going to be like a head crap or something. Not one of those guys. Alex, fix your aim. It's bad. There we go. There you are. I see that blue laser, and I immediately think enemy. Ow! So many zombies. Whoa! Well, if the sniper rifle wasn't overpowered enough, we also have fire and grenades. Kill your zombies in all sorts of different ways. Sounds like a stereotypical ad for all the new zombie games coming out. Is it just me? Or yeah! Well, that works. But yeah, is it just me, or are zombie games getting a little too recycled and not fun? Like, I really, really am tired and sick of the zombie spam as of late. But then again, I never really found them that fun to begin with. I think, I think the only exception I make is uh, Killing Floor. I love Killing Floor. But that's like one of those PC exclusive games that would just always be successful no matter who you are. But I don't know, so many zombie games. Every other game coming out has to be about zombies, and I never understood the appeal anyway. Like, I just never found it fun. There are enemies that can't shoot back, mindlessly run at you, and I don't see the appeal to that. There's no strategy involved with this. Why would they do this? I can't use this. Oh wait, there we go. I'm pretty sure these things would not stop a rifle that overpowered. I hit him, but I didn't kill him or really do anything. That did, though. Who, who holds a pistol this close to their face when they aim down the sights? I'd rather just kill them myself before they can pull a grenade out because I have nowhere to run. What is Alex doing? 
Are you gonna shoot the zombies or just stare at them? Oh, damn those grenades. What was that? Well, I already used up all my FN F2000 ammo. Oh, wait, there we go. You might have noticed that... Oh, yes, more revolver ammo. You might have noticed that I changed the sound effects, the reload sound effects, and the reload animation is obviously different for the F2000. Um, I intentionally did that. I just kind of wanted to see the sound effects. I don't think these sound effects are quite as good as the sound effects that were originally in Cinematic Mod, but, you know, they were good, to the, good enough to deal with. They just don't seem to be quite as high quality. I have full shotgun ammo, I'm using this. <laughs> the first... I hear you, wherever you are. The first time I played this, that was like, oh shit, get away, what do I do? <laughs> yes! They could have done a little bit more with this reload animation. I mean, for a mod, it looks... Good, it just seems a little stiff. But at least they didn't try to do anything really special and change the reload time for the, uh, for the pulse travel, because it's still supposed to be a pulse travel. It's not really supposed to change much, other than the bullet damage already being changed. Get out of here. Where did that come from? But yeah, they didn't try to do anything too overly flashy. They didn't make him throw the magazine into a fucking wall or something retarded like that, but... Yeah. I need a box. I also need a flashlight that doesn't need to recharge. Clank, 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 clank. It's just like a rule of vents in Half-Life. If you were going through a vent, you must be clanking. Man, I am tired. I don't know why I'm tired. It's only 2.30 in the morning. Which, for anyone else, they're like, what? 2.30 in the morning is late. For me, that's just like 2 o'clock in the afternoon for anyone else. It's a pretty normal time for me to be awake. Man. Okay, that bloom. Up until now, I was fine with it, but... I, sh I don't see that when I look at the sky in real life. I remember there should be infinite ammo. Ow, ow, ow. Is that not expected? Well, that is.
What? You don't get put out, you die. Yes. Ooh, SMG grenades. Ow. Give me these. No. <laughs> I love how much he raised the damage for the, uh, the revolver. Like, even on the harder difficulties, I always just kind of wanted the revolver to be a one-hit kill. And for some reason, it just makes more sense that way. What did I get up here for? Whoa! Uh, ouch! Don't care about the toxic stuff. I'll be lazy. <laughs> I just head jumped off a zombie. Okay, they can commit suicide. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, like, can't avoid that. Let's see what's up here. Oh, nothing. Well, I explored. I'm happy. All right then. I like how you don't even actually have to do this puzzle the way I first thought you were supposed to. Like I thought I had to push all the cars over to this end, you know, to balance it out. But no, you can just push them all off. Then it works fine.
find a way to open this door? I do not remember having to. I also remember the G-Man being around here. Like, right over there, when you first walk in here. That's why I was looking around like crazy, but I don't remember exactly where he is. Driving, Gordon. Well done. Oh my god. Look at this car. We scored. Shotgun. Oh, unless you want it. I fear a more urgent errand demands our attention. There are advisors yet unhatched. We'll keep on the lookout. This road will take you near White Forest. But be wary that others may use it as well. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Our bonds are of nature and require no gratitude. Been an honor. 